Let's take a look at the difference between creating new models in SOLIDWORKS versus Creo Parametric. Here I am in SOLIDWORKS 2020, 2021. I have this welcome dialog box open, and from here I can create new parts, new assemblies, and new drawings. Let me close this for a second just to show you that if you go to the new icon, the new SOLIDWORKS document dialog box also gives you the same three choices. Part, assembly and drawing. Pretty straightforward, that's what you have. Let's start off by creating a brand new part. I will click the OK button. And now I've got my part started out and you can see what the feature tab looks like. Let's now create a new assembly. I will go to the new button and choose the new icon. This time I will choose assembly as the other different model type. Let's click the OK button. The brand new assembly is started out. It automatically opens up a dialog box where it wants me to select a model to use. Let me select the one part that I have available in there and it's attached to the end of my mouse. I'm just going to left click and now we can see our tree over on the left with our different entities including the part located in there. So that's how you create a part how you create an assembly. One thing I want to point out is that there is a default name for the assembly. There is a default name for the part that I had just created as well. You can change the names when you perform the save operation. Now I'm in Creo Parametric. Let's take a look at creating new objects. From the ribbon, I will click on the new icon. And here we get a dialog box and you'll notice that there are a lot more options in here. So for example, I can create a new layout, a new sketch, a new part, a new assembly, a new manufacturing model, a new drawing, a new format, or a new notebook. Also for the parts, there are different subtypes that you can choose. Here the default is a solid part. You could also create a sheet metal part, a bulk part, and harness is grayed out because harnesses can only be created in an assembly. And also, you specify the file name and the common name up front. Here's the option to specify which default template that you want to use. If you uncheck the option, you'll get a new file options dialog box where you can select one from a variety of different templates and fill in the different parameters. Here we have an option to copy the associated drawings. I will just click the OK button and our new part is created. Let's take a look at creating a new assembly. I'll click the new button and then choose assembly as the type. Then we have a variety of different subtypes, design, interchange, process plan, NC model, mold layout, external simplified rep, configurable module, and configurable product. I will leave the default subtype of design. Here again, you fill out the file name and common name at the beginning. You can choose whether to use a default template. I will choose one of my model templates. And there we have our assembly started. So there you have it, different workflows in the different programs. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.